Hello, and welcome to the second video in Arapaho Library series on executive function and young children. My name is Mary, and this is my colleague, Lori Ann. Today, we're going to share with you more information about one of the three parts of executive function, working memory. Working memory is the ability to hold information in our brains for a short time in order to use it to complete a task or process a thought. Working memory is a skill that helps us remember and apply information to everyday activities to put our memories to work. We are connecting what we already know to that new information in order to act on it or use it. And that's how it's different from short-term memory. Information in our working memory is being put to use right now. Mary, can you give me some examples of what working memory might look like in kids? Absolutely, Laurieann. When you ask a child to pick up their jacket, put it on the hook, and then go sit down in small group, one of the things that helps them remember all of those steps and complete them is working memory. Have you ever been reading a book to your kids and one of them remembers something that happened earlier in the story and connects it to what's on the current page? Yes, that happens a lot, especially as kids grow. That's because it's their working memory developing. It's also developing when they're making a plan for building a tower out of Legos. What needs to go first? What might happen if I put this block on that block? What are other ways kids use working memory in their lives? In kids, working memory is used in many, if not all, aspects of their lives. Kids need to develop their working memories in order to do things like following instructions, what did mom tell me to do, and in what order, and how do I do those things? <laughs> Playing a game, what are the rules for this game? How do we play it? Reading and listening to stories, what happened earlier in the story? Wow, that's a new word. Let me connect that to what I already know about letter sounds and word meanings remembering and responding to questions, and planning to accomplish a task. What are the steps I need to make and in what order? Those sound like really important skills. How will developing their working memory help these young kids as they grow up? Well, when we enter formal schooling, working memory is what helps us organize and complete our homework, answer questions in class, remember instructions and stay on task. When we become adults, our working memory is what helps us to understand what we've read, complete tasks, solve problems, stay organized, and more. It's one of the things that allows us to be successful in learning and in life. So what are some of the developmental milestones we might see a child pass? Well, babies naturally have to develop their working memory. It takes a while before they even know when something is out of sight, it still exists, which is object permanence. At around nine months, they're playing peekaboo and are still a bit surprised when you move your hands and they see you there. <laughs> At about one year, they are remembering what to do when you give them one sentence instructions. Pick up your shoes. At about two years, they're able to remember two instructions and can remember a repeated refrain in a book in order to say it with you. They're just beginning to play with the other children rather than beside them. Between the ages of three and five, of course, their ability to follow more instructions grows. They're also growing their ability to take turns, follow game rules, and plan their play. Thanks, Mary. And thank you for joining us for this episode of Executive Function and Young Children. In this video, we learned that working memory allows us to access and use information when needed to complete a task, solve a problem, or process a thought. This was just a short introduction to working memory, so please take a look at the resources we've provided at the end of this video and in the description below to learn more. Stay tuned for the next video in which we will talk more in depth about self-regulation and how it helps children and what developmental milestones you might notice along the way. 
Also, visit ArapahoLibraries.org for activity ideas, uh, information about parenting, book suggestions, and story times and events. If you need further information about anything related to executive function or child development, or just need a good book to share with your kids, please fill out an Ask a Librarian form and we'll help you out. Thank you. Bye, Lorianne. Bye, Mary. Thanks.